It's hot. Oh, uh, no! Okay. Ah! It's meant to be hot. It is a hot beverage. What do you mean? People of the internet, America used to mock us of our food. Our tea and crumpets, our scones, our fish and chips. Well, this British man will see their reactions to our food. See if it's worthy of their taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> this intro has gone very weirdly, but I'm glad you lot are here to join me. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What's the most British thing you can think of? I don't, yeah, let's see. See what the most British thing is. Tea and crumpet! That's what I was gonna say! <laughs> let's try that. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Chief. I know a lot of them say that, but you know, it's not a thing. Yeah, tea and crumpets are not a thing. It doesn't go well together. We have crumpets or we have tea. If anything, there's tea and scones. They work together. These don't. So, hold your horses, lad. Oh, I start off with a doozy. Oh, it's a tea. This That's looks, not what tea looks like. This looks like... What? Tea looks like... It's tea. It's brown sludge in a bowl. In a cup, not a bowl. It's hot. Like no! It. Okay. Ah, it's meant to be hot. It is a hot beverage. What do you mean? Umbra? That's how we Americans say it. It's from Scotland. What nice Scotland people. This is a this is an energy drink and a half. Like this will wake you up and then some. What? Just like the the sweat of Arnold Schwarzenegger. We've had our proper tea. Ah, it's our it's now quite true. Just imagine like hundreds of them. Food. They live they live in the north. Fish and chips. <laughs> oh yes. Ooh, all right, all right. Gravy? That's the curry sauce. Oh, there we go. Stick your chips in that. What is this? We, we can agree, if you're having fish and chips, right? Curry sauce is the best thing to have on the side of it. Like, gravy's ass, all right, but curry sauce, oh, it just it, it just hits different. That's battered sausage. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this Damn. needs to be on, like, a breakfast plate all across America. HMS it's delicious sausage over here. and batter. That's all it is. It's not nothing too right. fantastic. Uh -huh. Tastes good, but, By you know. By the way, what's it? There's a bunch of watsits over there that hill. Where is it? They're walking to water. Doesn't matter where you're from. If you, if you make a word and put a British accent, it makes sense. Like, it, we, we have a weird accent. Add some soy sauce. The heck is this? A the best noodle. thing in the pot UK. Noodle. Pot noodles. Oh, they're beautiful. Put a little hot water in there and you're set. Put a little sachet in there. Oh, oh I'll do you for the day. Shortbread. And these you don't Fantastic. In beautiful. Yeah, I've never heard that. But in your tea? Apparently they do. Yeah, Helen says they're best served with a cup of English breakfast tea. The tea should include a This or lotus bis biscuits you have on the side of your tea. And they're oh, beautiful. Is there a tall bread? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Please, <laughs> that's what it is. A crunchy. Now, you, now. Yeah, now you get into the candy stuff, the sweets. Don't know what you mean. We don't have them over here. Devil is there! It's in there. Oh no! It's like a tiny beehive. Get that Friday feeling with crunchy. Oh, golden honeycomb wrapped in Cadbury oh, chocolate. So good, so Dude, good. Cadbury though. runs this world. Thank you, thank That's you. That's good. They oh. are so good. They just, they hit different. What's up, quick, what's the word in British? Like brilliant? That's brilliant! That's brilliant! The word in British. Brilliant. Is that over there in America? You don't have the word brilliant in America. <sighs> keep it contained, Noah. We'll keep it contained. All right. We, you got this. You got this. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. <sighs> this stuff is disgusting. All right. We're switching gears. What's this? Trying some Marmite now. Marmite. Let me try it before you... Marmite, Marmite is a 50-50 in the UK. Like, a majority of us may like it, but a lot of us dislike it. It's like Vegemite in, over in Australia. Talking about, any of Aussies watching? You want to scrap with our Marmites? Like, I know you've got Vegemite over there. We do like a 1v1, like, KSI Logan Paul fight to the death with Marmite and Vegemite. See who comes out on top. He comes up victorious. Anyway. <laughs> Before you tell me what it is. I like that we're gonna put it on an English muffin. Question though, are they actually English? No. It's a muffin. Nothing makes it English. It's a muffin. Those aren't things. It's a- They're all 
Chocolate on there, there you go. There we go. Oh, it's so... Oh, yeah. The uh, consistency is so sticky and it smells what? disgusting. Wake up your taste buds. Put the oomph in your breakfast. All right, all I'm saying Wake is... Wake up your taste buds. You're killing your taste buds with that. Like, why? Like Nutella, spread it's like us. caramel. This is gonna be... A breeze. Delectable. I, you go I think not, mate. It's very salty. Let it hit you in the throat. <laughs> Ooh, that looks suspect. It's good. Ooh. Spotted dick. And for all you dirty minded folk out there, no, it's not what it sounds like. It's very, very good and not sus at all. Traditional moist. <laughs> Lightly. It's for the one that you don't want to hear about a cake, it's like it's moist. <laughs> it just sounds wrong and would taste wrong. Nothing says fancy like can markings on a cake. <laughs> you have oh, a date over. The fancy. Going out for a date, whip out the can and oh, it secured it. <laughs> over. Let's pop a can, babe. Let's pop a can of spotted dick. No, That's no, how you set no, the mood. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's another version of Netflix and chill. This is made by Cadbury. It says dairy milk, caramel, caramel. C caramel, Jesus Christ. Uh, caramel. These are so good. If you have these, ah, they're beautiful. You have a box of heroes. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a bunch of dairy milk chocolate thrown into one bag and then you eat that and you find these are like the best ones in there so like, oh, you've won the lottery doing that oh it's great it's great is it caramel or caramel it's caramel, caramel. caramel. yeah but he spells color and favorite with a u what do you mean uh so you spell it color uh, is a u in the way you say it not color or color uh. it's like a softer it's not the hard caramel yeah, they're great. And it's not the runny caramel, but it's like in between. Yes, yeah. It is a beautiful. I couldn't even tell it's like it was caramel. I still love the runny caramel the most, though. It's like the Goldilocks of chocolate. It's so good. Point out real quick. You can't see him, but our friend Paul, the the British one, I'm using air quotes because he is British. He is dressed more patriotically than either of us right now. Grow up in England, and he says some of you might give him hate because his accent has kind of gone to an American. What accent? You sound British to me. Oh no, I don't. No, and he doesn't. That out. is not a British accent, my friend. <laughs> this is a British accent. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed my suffering through American trying our food. Subscribe for more because I'm planning to do a bunch more reactions to dumbass stuff like this. So, without further ado, good morning, good night, good evening. See you lot in the next one. Bye.